10 Malibu LS with an EPA estimated 30 MPG highway for around 199 a month. Call for details. First, let's test the national front of
Shelly Sanders here from Penske Chevrolet, where we have amazing deals for you. Don't miss the first ever under invoice sale. Pay 500 below invoice on Camaros. Pay 1,000 below invoice on Tahoes. Pay 1,500 below invoice on Corvettes. You keep the rebates or get rates as low as 0% APR for 72 months. All new 09 and 2010 Chevys are under invoice. Only at Penske Chevrolet, an American revolution. PenskeChevy.com, where they all got a gut. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of the National Brand Spinach. Ugh. Good. Now I'll take a bite of the Meyer Brand Spinach. standards, lower prices. Across the United States, over 80% of child safety seats are installed incorrectly. By visiting the Cole Center for Safe Transportation of Children at Rivey Hospital, Indiana's only comprehensive children's hospital, you can learn how to properly install your child safety seat. Join Rivey Hospital for Children and Cole in our mission to help Indiana become the safest state for children. Go to RememberRiley.org to learn more. Toyota has always had a strong commitment to the state of Indiana. And that's why we're especially proud to be the official vehicle of the Indianapolis Colts. Go Toyota! Official vehicle of the Indianapolis Colts! Visit your Central Indiana Toyota dealer today for great deals on Toyota's full lineup of models. Toyota, the official vehicle of the Indianapolis Colts. From Indiana's News Leader, this is Channel 13 Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. The House, the Senate, the Governor's Office. We talk with Indiana Congressman Mike Pence about his next political move. The 2012 Super Bowl will be here in Indianapolis, but the road starts in Miami next month. Fewer bumps in the road for Indianapolis. I'm Mary Mills. I'll tell you how stimulus money is about to pave the way for a smoother ride. Good evening. Indiana Republican Congressman Mike Pence says today he will not challenge Democratic Senator Evan Bayh for the U.S. Senate seat this year. Some Republican analysts say Bayh is vulnerable for re-election and that Pence could give him a stiff challenge. Our political reporter Kevin Rader spoke with Mike Pence about why he decided against a run for the Senate. Congressman Pence, you decided to make an announcement today on Facebook. Tell me, first of all, why you made that decision, and then why you made it on Facebook. But let's start with why did you decide not to run for Senate? We have some unfinished business here. Uh, we have an opportunity to help lead Republicans back to a majority in 2010, and, and I believe we can. And so we didn't look at this from the standpoint of personal ambition or political opportunity. We really tried to look at it from the standpoint of where we could make the most difference for what's most important to our constituents and our values, and that was staying here at my post and uh, helping to elect a conservative majority this year. Here's a hypothetical for you. If you should get into a majority once again, you might have a decision to make as far as coming home and running for governor. If you've accomplished the goal of getting majority that you set out for there, would you consider coming back to Indiana and running for governor? As I said in my statement today, you know, we, we, we still hope that the uh, that God will give us the opportunity to serve the people of Indiana and the country in a wider way. But we'll, we'll leave those considerations for the future. Right now, what my family and I are convinced of is that we need to finish what we started. We need to roll our sleeves up and, and do our job helping to lead Republicans back to a majority in 2010. And I believe we will. And John, he says his kids introduced him to Facebook. 